Today, it's incredible, but it's true. I'm going to teach you how to make helva at home and it will take just five minutes of your time and it's very cool to do. Then I'm going to give you a refika recipe, which is great. And again, it takes five minutes to prepare. It looks so good melted in the oven together with nuts, some fruits and some crunchiness in it. And it's going to be amazing. And I'm also going to give you a lot of insights. Now we are moving from recipe giving to Bahar's fantasy world. <laughs> For you, I will. First off, helva is a very simple recipe, actually. It's tahini and a bit of water and a bit of sugar. In the helva that you eat around here, there's also something called chovan. Chovan is soap root and it has this like gumminess and also it's when you beat it it becomes like a foamy thing. It's it's incredible in many terms but it's hard to control it. It's hard to find so I took chovan out to make it a simpler recipe so that everyone in the house can do it but maybe one day we can like get into another level and do it. So these are the only basic ingredients to make the base of helva. To do that I have here 200 grams of sugar first and I'm going to put it in a pan and 60 milliliters of water this is about six tablespoons I'm trying to melt the sugar a bit by shaking it like this so that the sugar melts so here we go it's in high I'm going to make it into medium low I want the sugar to melt before it starts to boil why because after it boils and the sugar crystals haven't melted yet, then when it gets colder, it might get crystallized like this. And this isn't even too much. Like sometimes it might be like direct sugar. While it's getting heated up, I am also stirring it so that the sugar melts faster. Now slowly this will melt totally and I'm going to let it simmer for a while and it will take eight minutes. Now from the sides, it started to boil, but my sugar haven't melted yet. Without putting the whisk in from after this stage, I'm just like shaking it like this, so that, Inan, you can see it maybe, the sugar at the bottom melts. Don't clear the sides, sides are always like that, you can't escape from it. Now, it has a few more minutes and there I want to make you a pistachio helva. So I'm getting some pistachios out and I'm going to make it like this. It's up to us, I believe. We can put nuts, we can make it plain, yes. we can put chocolate. Exactly. I'm going to have chunks like this. But at the same time, I want to make it even smaller. The taste of the pistachios blends with the tahini. It will add a lot of flavor to helva. Otherwise, it becomes two different separate ingredients. So for the looks, I want chunks like this. And then I want almost dust-like. Good. Okay. I'm going to add some tahini. If, guys, maybe some of you don't know what tahini is, sometimes get that questions. Tahini is sesame seed oil and I have a video about it, how to make this. It's again five minutes to make. So easy. You can click here and get in. I'm going to use all of this tahini. Time is up. Time is up. Okay. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to add a bit of vanillin powder. It could be vanillin syrup. We don't have it right now around. Original vanilla pods are now incredibly expensive, so we're not able to use it. And I'm going to put a pinch of salt and that's it. Now I need to use my whisk. Ah, where's my whisk? Here is a, the important part. Now I'm going to put it just here in. As you can see how clear the sugar syrup is. From now on, I have to be really fast because what will happen is as this gets cold, it becomes really, really hard to whisk. So I'm adding these here, the dust ones, like this. And as you can see, it's getting thicker and thicker. Now it's very hot. As it gets cold, it's going to be stiff. It's done, it's done, it's all done. I'm gonna put more chunks, a bit of chunks here. And then you need a dish. You want the helva to have the shape of. Uh, and there's this baking paper and uh, Burak did this very nice looking shape to fit the sides.
Now it's still very hot, guys. When I was growing up, there was no pistachio helva in Istanbul. It was in Antep. Again, even in Antep, it wasn't very popular. And I can very well say I'm one of those people who made it famous all around Turkey. Can yeah, we say yeah. that? Yes, of course. And I'm just pressing them. Can't you just leave it in the bowl you mix? Why I'm putting the baking sheet? Because it sticks. When it gets cold, it will be hard to take it out. Maybe if it was a plastic, it would work, like what you do in the ice box. We don't want it, something so hot to put it on a plastic. So, so this will get very like I'm almost very hard to touch in the middle. This should cool down in room temperature. You can put it in the refrigerator for an hour, and then it will be ready to eat. One second, one second. You might say, Rifika, we don't have pistachios, but we want to make helva, and we want again another flavor. Let's go for cacao, like with chocolatey helva. Now, for the second recipe, same thing. My sugar and water is boiling. And here I have my tahini. It's 260 grams of tahini. It's about a cup. This glass is like a cup, isn't it, Brooke? Same. Okay. I'm going to put this. And guys, if you don't have tahini on in where you live, you can buy these tahinis from Etsy, from our shop as well. Actually, this brand is, there's a great city called Mardin in Turkey with this incredible houses, incredible people. There's a lady there called Ebru Bayberdemir. She's an incredible chef and she gathers women, help them make their own produce in that area. With her efforts, she changed the destiny of a city and the people inside and it's incredible. When you buy tahini, there could be versions for example this one it just came today <laughs> that uh, was the alarm <laughs> okay this came today this is single roasted and this is double roasted it has more like a burny feeling for the helva lighter is a little better now again the beginning is same some vanillin same amount of helva a bit of sugar and then i add this Shake it well. If you spend more time, this might get hardened. Don't worry. You can shape it in your hands like a Play-Doh and continue, it's all okay. Now I'm going to pour half of it here. Then I'm going to add a teaspoon of, I mix it well. You can do this with a melted chocolate, by the way, as well. take apart from tahini but probably the cacao part will be more dominant Burak would you like some not hot anymore nice like that mm, people are going crazy <laughs> now we lost it guys we can like chop some chocolates and <laughs> this is pistachio <laughs> And you can even have, like, I put half of it like this. You know, we have the same. Eat it and run. Actually, it's not running, it's something else, you yeah. know? <laughs> Climbing a tree. <laughs> Climbing a tree would be nicer. Do you have it saying like that in your language? Do you eat it and climb a tree? Nice. This doesn't have to be, like, the original would be this part, so... But I'm going to put it into another level and make it like this. Same thing, guys. This will come to room temperature totally, especially the middle side. If you cut it before it gets really cool, it might be runny and melty and you wouldn't like that. But we have to wait for a while. Okay, done. If we are ready now, helva time. Whoop. Which side shall I put it here like this? Yeah, why not? Why not? I want to cut like this. So, this is the helva. Wow. Look at this. There's a saying in Turkish, ağzında helva gibi dağılmak. You put it in your mouth and it distributes like helva. Not distributes, disappears. Hmm, disappears like helva. And it's so good. You can have the chocolate one. Oh. Yeah. Thicker chunks. Oh. Mm. Now, what I'm going to do 
I'm going to use this helva to make another dessert. And this is like, if you make this helva and put it in your fridge, this will go for weeks and weeks and it won't go bad because it's just tahini and sugar. They can last very long. I'm going to put this helva half with pistachios, half with chocolatey. I'm going to add, believe it or not, even more chocolate. <laughs> this is not even three, this is a climbing a skyscraper kind of thing. I'm going to put all this in here too. And then to this, whatever the fruit of the season is. For example, it could be sour cherries, which would be great. The strawberries are now in season. Slice them like this. To the other half, I'm going to add some bananas. I want like some bigger chunks and then I want to have smaller slices. What is going to happen in the oven is these are all going to melt. Left with is the creaminess of the banana, which is amazing. So again, guys, this is actually I'm telling you two desserts. You can do any of them. Now this goes into the oven. 10 to 12 minutes until halwa melts, the chocolate melts, it starts to bubble a little. And that's when it's everything is ready. Done. Da -da -da -da. One thing I forgot to tell you, the dish that I've used is soil. Why? It gets hot slowly and it gets cold slowly. If you don't have like something clay, you can use a cast iron. So for about 10 minutes, it didn't almost melt. Then after a while, as you can see, the chocolate melts, tahini melts, helva melts. And we can put a bit of lemon on and this lemonness helps the sweetness to balance very nicely. So this is going to be like melty like this. If you want, you can put some more nuts. Walnuts would be great. But at the first moments, it's very hot. So be very careful as well. This is also a special ice cream, which is from Marash made with Salep. You have to just cut it. You cannot scoop it very easily. It's dondurma, it's not ice cream. You should taste when you come to Istanbul. So oh, Bahar, is it for me? That's for you. Bit of ice cream, bit of helva, all goes well like this. Might not look great, but trust me, it tastes amazing. Guys, that's it for now. If you have enjoyed the recipe, please press like, please from your WhatsApp, share it with your loved ones so that the word spreads. And if you'd like to leave a small comment, you can even write small, I will understand what you mean. That would be so nice. Take great care, love you very, very much. Thank <laughs> you.